Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBan and in this video we are going to be demonstrating the console.table in JavaScript. Alright guys, so I have taken my Chrome browser here. We'll be doing this stuff in the developer console. We'll not be using any sort of code editors. So I'll just right click and click on inspect or you can just say Control shift i and I'll just take the console there. Now we'll be demonstrating three things. The first one uh, will be like a list of items and second one will, will be uh, an object and the third one will be a list of objects. So uh, starting with the first one, we'll make a const um, person names. Person names is equal to a list of uh, some items, three items here. So I'll just click enter there. Now if we just console uh, dot log the person uh, names you can see that it's it is the default one you can see the default output there now what if it is console.table so if I just say console.table it gives me this nice little uh, kind of uh, table here which has the first column being index 0 1 2 0 based index and the corresponding values there so that's the first one the uh, list just a list of some items there now the second one will be uh, doing is a kind of uh, person uh, object just a single object so I'll just say const um, uh, person object so person object I have created a demi person object here with the name and age attributes there and I'll just click enter there and um, if I just say console dot log a person object it's it is giving the default one and uh, as far as the console dot table uh, it'll just give you a nice little table there now here the index will be the key so the name and age and the uh, values will be there in the uh, value column as well so uh, the last thing we are going to be discussing is the uh, list of objects so uh, I'll just say uh, const uh, let me say const uh, persons so a list of persons so uh, is equal to I have already prepared one so uh, three objects here uh, and uh, I'll just uh, replace the name with uh, something else so John Doe, Jane Doe and uh, maybe uh, some Bart Doe for example and yeah that's it a list of three objects and I'll just console dot table that persons there so uh, which will give you a very cool uh, table here which has the index so the zeroth index have uh, the name and age of John Doe and 10 and similarly the first and second index as well you could also sort the table based on the column titles like index name or age uh, in ascending or descending order just by clicking on that title itself so if I want to actually uh, sort by index just click on that index it'll just uh, give you an ascending or descending order and the same uh, with name and age as well so now the question arises why you should use console.table the console.log is just fine so the answer to that question is like the tabular representation of data works uh, like a charm which means uh, you'll get a greater insight into your data and you can just debug faster than the console.log itself. So uh, that's all about the video, a short video on this one and hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So thank you for watching, we'll see you in the very next one.